Hi guys, it's Dear Natural 62. It's that time of year. I wanted to say happy holidays to everyone and I hope you have a happy new year. Let's get started. I've already applied one coat of my base coat, one coat of my base color. Now I'm going to answer some random questions for you that I normally answer. Yes, I'm using regular room temperature water. There is nothing fancy about the water that I'm using. It's regular room temperature. Another question I get is, my polishes don't seem to spread like yours. Now I'm using regular nail polishes. These aren't anything fancy. But the thing you have to do is make sure that your nail polish isn't too thick. Because I notice if your nail polish is too thick, then this this technique just doesn't work. And trust me, that can be one of the issues. The other issue could be the temperature of your water. So make sure you have the right temperature. Another cute little trick I get I'm going to help you guys with is a lot of times I get questions, my bullseye won't open. What do I do? <laughs> In those instances, you can either do a couple of things. You can either tap your glass or cup or whatever a little bit to see if that'll help if that doesn't help because the colors have settled a little bit then your next option is I'm going to show you the minute I drop this down is take a toothpick of some sort toothpick toothpin whatever you're using see this first color that I dropped notice this strange amount of space between the first the second line and this Take your toothpick, gently, gently go around. See, that was too much. <laughs> but if you go around that color, then your bullseye will open up for you the way you want. I'm not going to do anything else because I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> you have to know when to stop. That's another trick too. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Little Kenny Rogers for you. <laughs> me stop I slay myself I slay me the real design I wanted was this one I did it out because I wanted to test out the colors and stuff so I wanted the black and the red to mesh more and the green to be on the outside um you know what only for you guys am I gonna do this over again because this is the result that I want to show you and this by darn it, this is the way I want it to come out. So we're gonna do this again. So when you mess up, you know, I've never showed you this on camera, but when you mess up, all you have to do is blow on this. What the blowing does is it accelerates the rate of the nail polish in the water and it makes it dry extremely faster for you. So that's another tip too. If you're working in a room that has a ceiling fan, you might wanna turn off the ceiling fan or, or if you have any wind blowing at you because what it does, it's gonna make it dry extremely fast and we don't want that to happen. Now you see as I'm cleaning up, the red is opening up, just keep blowing. And then that way you're able to pick up everything. So let's try that one more time. Just for you guys, I'm doing this. I've never done this on camera before. But I want you to see the whole process. So again, we're going to start over with the green and the red. Oh, another tip. Got to work fast. Got to move at a quick pace to get this going. Don't slow down for any reason. And if you mess up, just start all over again like I did. There's nothing wrong with starting over. Okay, let's get it in. Because I want to show you how it looks so pretty when that red and black bleed a little bit. And you see the tips of the green. It just looks so cute. And I want you to see the actual effect that I received the first time that made me want to do this Christmas color combo. Now these colors, oh, I should mention this. This color is for Kwanzaa. This red, black, and green color is for Kwanzaa. And I'm going to be doing some other, let's stop at the black. I'm going to be doing some other colors too. So I want it to open up and then 
this is how I opened it up before. And then I'm trying to do somewhat of a four leaf clover type thing, but I wanted it to be like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, my nail stick and I'm going to dip, hmm, I think I like it over here. Yeah, I'm gonna dip down right about here. Now again, just blow on your water. See how pretty that looks? Not, where's the other one? Not quite as big as this one, but that could also be due to the nail shape also. But it's so adorable. You see how the black and the red bleeds and you see hints of the green and the variation of the green, just like that flower. I forgot what that Christmas flower is called, but they I usually see it sold at like Home Depot, Walgreens and everything. They usually come out during Christmas. And that's what this reminds me of. It's so pretty. But don't forget, this is for my Kwanzaa people. So happy Kwanzaa. Okay, I'm going to be doing a blue and white. Now we all know blue and white is for Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah. And I decided to use the Sally Henson's sugar coat color. That's the white one. It's called Sugar Fixed. Don't forget, I said I'll list all the products down below because I wanted some type of texture. So I thought that would be cool. And definitely, let me know what you're doing for the holidays. I'd love to know. They're right around the corner. Are you ready? Did you get all the gifts that you needed to do? Did you do all the shopping and everything? Is the house clean? That's for the adults. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Now when it comes to design, just take your time, do something cute and funky, play around with it. Don't forget, I don't really think there's any real mistakes when it comes to design because it's what you come up with, so it's what you like. So now I've already applied one coat of white, just plain white on my nails because I wanted the surface to be smooth since I'm going to be doing a textured polish on top of it. So let's dip right here in the center. Should we go this way? Or should we go this way? Hmm, let's go this way. Let's dip down. Let's see what that gives us. Funky! Pretty and funky. So happy Hanukkah. Okay, now for Christmas, I wanted to do too many, too many drops fell. <laughs> if that happens, just keep dropping. <laughs> There's no sense in stopping. But I wanted to do a pretty red and gold color. I thought that would be pretty for Christmas. And this goal is just absolutely divine. I just got it from Sinful Colors. It's called Gold Metal. I think it's so pretty. It shimmers. It's just the right type of gold. Look at the bottle. It's just absolutely gorgeous. But let's keep moving on. <laughs> okay. More questions that I usually get. How do I come up with my color combos? Well, when I'm doing it for you guys, I take your suggestions, because I want to make this interactive. Ever since they took away video responses, which I'm not too happy about, I want to figure out a way to interact with my viewers. So getting your color suggestions is a great way. Now, when I'm at home and I'm doing it for myself, sometimes I match my color combos to my outfit that I know I'm going to be wearing or to my favorite color. Um, you can do anything you like when it comes to choosing color combos. Just be fun with it. Have fun with it. It's nail polish. Whoever said nail polish should be boring? Not I. Nail polish is the new fashion staple. I painted my nail stick with the same first color that I used. Kind of, see, you notice how these colors kind of look like, um, like a Christmas ball. I just love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just sound so happy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go in right there because that looked so pretty. Oh, 
Oh my God, you can't tell me that doesn't look beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying, that just looks absolutely gorgeous. The gold, the red, and the things I like about water marble too is you can dress them up or dress them down. If you're going to a fancy occasion, you don't have to do all your fingers, you can do accent fingers. Do like your ring fingers and your thumb, or just your ring finger. Have fun with it. It doesn't necessarily have to be overdone with all your nails. Sometimes I'll do all my nails because I'm just crazy like that, but <laughs> make your nails appropriate to the occasion. That's what I say. But I just think this came out so elegant and so sophisticated. So Merry Christmas! So here are my final looks. I added a gemstone to my Kwanzaa look in the center and I added a top coat so I can seal in the look. For my Christmas look, I just added a shiny top coat to it. It just came out so beautiful. I didn't think I needed to accentuate it in any way. And then for my Hanukkah look, I know you're not into Christmas and it's Hanukkah, but I just wanted to add some snowballs in there. So I added with the same textured sugar coat, I added some snowballs and I did not add a top coat to this. So it has kind of a matte finish and an even more textured finish if you feel it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa and Happy Hanukkah. It's Dear Natural 62. Take care. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Beautylish, Bella Shoot. So it's Dear Natural 62. Have a happy, happy holiday and a happy new year.